everyone, this is Bonnie Krebs and welcome to Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. Today I'm going to show you how to stamp this little basket. Uh, it comes with two new vines and a long stem flower. These are so cute. These could actually be blooms as well. So you could color them with a bright color and put them in the basket as blooms or you could use them uh, as vines. So we're going to for sure use those today and this new long stem. So in addition to this set, we're still going to have to go back to the basic flower and foliage set because we need some of the um, items in these. So we for sure need to use this filler. We're going to use one of the long stems and then in the foliage set, we're going to use the grass and the vine. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is stamp the basket. Uh, the basket could be stamped in blue or sepia depending on what color you want it to be. Uh, I'm going to stamp it in the blue so that it looks like the basket is white. This is a number 86 African Violet. And for things that are going to remain white, we want to use uh, this, this color. So we're going to stamp it on the watercolor paper like so. Dip the brush in water. And we're going to begin by pulling the color out of the lines. So just follow all these lines and drag this color out. You don't have to be perfect on this. Just take your brush and follow all these lines. Dip it in here. Be sure to get a lot of color on the side. This is what's going to make the basket look rounded and have contour. So we want to for sure make sure that that is the darkest area on the side of the basket. It's not as important that you get the color on the top, but you can pull a little of that color out as well. The next step is to drag the color to the outside. So we're going to take this color now and we're going to pull it out to the outside. And now we're going to get a really neat contrast shadow back here. This is what's going to make it look more three-dimensional. Okay, that's about all we need to do. So the next step would be to add the flowers and foliage. That's always the funnest part. So let's start with the foliage. Let's take one of these. This is the vine from the foliage set. And I'm going to just ink the straight part. And I want, you want to, we want to remember to stamp it in a sequence of five. So one, two, three, four, five. We want to be sure to get that dark and light impression. One, two, three, four, five. It's way more important to make sure that you're stamping that over and over as it is to get it into the basket. You can see that I didn't do a very good job of getting it into the basket, but it really doesn't matter, I promise. So we've now got this stamped in here and I'm just softening with my brush. So I've dipped my brush in water, pinched it off. And now I'm just softening all these lines. This is so easy to do. All you're doing is just softening all these little leaves. It doesn't take much water at all. And just kind of blend all this color together. Okay, so let's add some more green in here. I'm going to use the, um, the long grass from the foliage set. And I'm just going to put some more texture in here. Remember in a repeat of five. One, two, three, four, five. Or more if you can. And drag this color up and out. Just pull this up. See how natural that looks? It'll drag some of this blue up with it. Okay, so let's add some flowers now. We're going to start by using the filler, the little filler flower. And I'm just going to ink this and stamp it in a sequence of five. One, two, three, four, five. In a circle. One, two, three, four, five. And even if I just use a few, in a circle. Maybe I want some out here. These look like little hydrangeas. Let's change colors, add some more color, 
Add a little purple in there. And now we can add the water. And just blend. See how the dark comes forward? These little uh, flowers and foliage sets are in everything. So by the time you've done a few projects with these, you're going to be a really be an expert at stamping these. Because the same images are used over and over again. And every time we come out with a new project, we're going to come back to these stamps. So you'll get really proficient at this. And really practice is everything. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. But you will be surprised how well your first try turns out. I'm always amazed by that. People come back to me and show me their work and they just can't believe that they can do this. And you really can. This is for people who would say, I'm not an artist and I don't know how to do that. And I could never paint, but you can stamp. And trust me, you can do this. This is so easy. Okay, so let's put something tall in here. We're gonna to wanna to use this new one. This looks like a little, um, looks like little blue bells. So uh, let's stamp that in blue. So I'm inking the blooms and then I'm inking the stem. And I want to stamp this over and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven if we can. The more impressions you can get, the better. And see how the dark one is in the front? I sort of started with a center and worked my way around like a clock. And the light ones just kind of fade out into the background. And that's what we want. That's the look we want. You don't, you don't ever want to ink. Ink the image, stamp it, ink it, stamp it, ink it, stamp it. You want to make sure you get at least five or six impressions before you re-ink it. Let's just add something else. Let's add another long stem in the background. I love this little lily. This is in the basic flower set. I use this over and over and over again. It's just so versatile. And these stamps, they're made to work with each other. So the more that you buy, the more you add to your collection, the more um, combinations you're going to have. And then you can change out the colors and do fall. That's really fun. You're just going to have so many options with these. So you just touch all the little lines. That's all we're doing is just touching. And, that, and the water just activates the color. And it just becomes a little painting. It's just like magic. Okay. And where you have some open areas like in here, take your little uh, vine and just fill in a little bit. Just take the top little fine point here and just go over that a few times. Maybe a few down here. And then we're going to add the, um, the vines that come with this set. I just love those new ones. And anything new that you get is going to work with what you already have because these are all made to scale. So with, this, with these new vines, you have a left and a right side. So we can ink the right side first. And we can get this in here. Let's ink it again. We're really going to fill this basket up. Again, sequence of five. See how the light and dark shows? Now when you add water to that, it's going to be so easy to blend. Add it now on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. And again. Got lots of foliage in this basket, but I just think that's so cute. You can make these simple too. You know, just a little vine and some uh, long stem flowers sort of laying down in this basket would be really cute too. Or you can just load it up like I've done. And then you just add water. You can take your time. 
because this is already dry and um, the water will just activate the color. So you can take your time and come back to it even the next day. That's the nice thing about the watercolor paper. That's why cardstock is just not going to work for this, for these projects, because what happens is the color just sort of um, absorbs into the cardstock and then you just, you can't get it out again. It'll just sort of sink in and you won't be able to move the color and we have to be able to move the color. That's how we blend. Starting to take shape. So let's finish it off by adding some grass to the bottom so we don't want this little basket to be floating in the air. Let's use the little grass this time. These grasses are probably the most important stamps in this set. I just use them for everything. They sort of complete every project. And again, see in a repeat. You can go any direction. That's the nice thing about these. You can go any direction, left or right, up or down. And then add water and use your brush stroke. When you're doing the grass, use your brush stroke. Come up and out. You can pull some of this blue color out as well. And there you go. Beautiful basket done in just a few minutes. And I promise you will get faster and faster at this. The more you practice, the better you'll get. It is just so much fun. And for people who are not artists, definitely. One last thing, be sure you sign. I'm kind of a fanatic about this, but I feel like this is your work. And every time you do this, it's gonna be different. Put these in a frame or put them in a mat and people will just love it. Thanks for watching.